Hey, hey, what is up? We just destroyed Mana White and Fabulur. Let's see what goes on. Oh, it's cutscene time. Me, the Guardian, defeated. No, Tekken so far I cannot be. Arg! I'm a pirate. Then I died. Die. Oh, whoa! That brought me back like. Holy crap, that brought me back like seven years. Oh. Oh, you dare bring light to my lair, you must die. Oh, Jesus. Remember that stuff, guys? Dang. I leave this message for those who follow in my path. The guardian who falleth at the hands of man was not but a mere mortal. Wait, what? That guy was, so that guy was just a dude? Journey forth and seek the true guardian, for he shall be the one to guide thee to glory. Seto, high mage of Amenhotep. Oh, so I guess his Egyptian roots still hold. Hmm, that's, that's pretty cool, actually. What's this? Two months later. Yugi's crown king, it's awesome. Seto were never captured, but they were never seen again. Templars, Illuminati. Henry the Seventh was credited for Henry the and was dead. Yu-Gi-Oh! by his supporters. That was not what happened in the Roar of the Roar of Roses. <laughs> not has been recorded of Dave's contribution to the downfall of the Rose Crusaders, or whether the Rose Duelist managed to return to the proper day. Yeah, I just got lost in the sauce forever. Tale remains lost chapter in the annals of history. Documents survive. Documents. John D. the Alchemist, Emperor Rudolph. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Those guys are real. I remember reading about them. Auctioned off in 1912, this document found its way into the hands of Richard Voynich, an American collector of antique books. As the Voynich manuscript remains undeciphered to this day, save for a short, mysterious inscription. Oh, shoot, I gotta remember that. I'm gonna write that down. Let me get a pen. I actually don't think I have a pen. Oh, but we live in the smartphone age. Hold on, give me a sec. All right, so I just wrote that down on my phone because that'll be useful. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels of the Roses, Red Rose chapter end. Yay. Save, absolutely. Wait, what? Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, save the game. Oh shit, credits? Already? Wow. Oh, and there's our buddy, Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth, right there in the back. Wow, uh, thanks so much for watching, everyone. This was awesome. Uh, there's still more to be done, so, you know, we'll be pretty good. Oh, I see. It's the best monster from each duelist, it seems, because, like, this is Twin Headed King Rex, which was, uh, Rex Raptor. Oh, Red Eyes, I love you. Pumpkin, that's Necromancer. Okay, so that thing we just got was that code nv7 yeah like so that is a password you can use to attain a card which is pretty awesome there are a lot of passwords that i've used in the past playthroughs for this game so I, and as you can see i've made a point not to use them because you can get some crazy monsters you can get barrel dragon you can get change of heart you can get Mimic Hat, which will literally bring back anything from your or your adversary's graveyard. It's insane. And so there are a lot of cards you can actually just get. I think Gravity Bind's another one. There are a lot of cards you can just get by putting a password in. And they're really good cards. However, I've been making a point not to really use them. Because I kind of want to really try this game legit. And, you know, I think we did pretty well all things considered, like, Weevil was the only person who I actually went back multiple times with for more cards. Like, there have been people, Labyrinth Ruler, I'm looking at you mostly, people I wanted to duel again to get more cards, but I actually ended up not really dueling anyone again, unless that wasn't the case. Like, I don't think I dueled anyone a second time for cards, except for Weevil, but I dueled him a lot for Perfectly Ultimate. So it was kind of fun to play this game, just like going by like, okay, I beat him once and I got these cards off of him. They were either terrible or great. So, you know, it's a whole thing. That was a really short credit sequence. So let's continue. And you'll notice when we hit continue, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. And 
Oh. Keeping with the tradition of the old temple gardens, I offer you a choice, duelist. So, we're here all over again. For the sake of justice, choose a rose. I'm Simon McMoore, and I never showed up after you sided with me. <laughs> he really didn't. He just, like, disappears. I guess he goes back to Scotland or whatever. So, now we have the option to side with the Yorkist, which is my favorite thing to do. So, I'm going to do that. A wise choice, duelist. I see you're well-versed in judging a situation. So yeah, this guy, you know, we already know his steez. He's gonna be an awesome dude until he's not. Until he tries to summon the freaking Guardian Man. Man of white and fab -lur. I see ya. I see it in his eyes. Look at his eyes. You can just see the Man of white in there. Wait, what? Holy crap, did he just kill him? Don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. I just need you out of the way until everything is settled. Okay. So you spread the cards among individuals. I think it's safe to assume. The Confederates and another army in France. Fun. So, uh, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. So we're going to play a different game entirely. So instead of invading England, we're going to invade France. And we're gonna invade the good guys. So this is gonna be fun. Okay, so he's giving us the whole spiel. You gotta have lower deck cost, and you gotta beat everyone, because they all got rose cards. Don't underestimate them. I'm depending on you. Because I gotta summon the Mana Wide and Fabler. Because I don't really care about you. All I care about is my good old friend, Mana Wide and Fabler. We get drinks every Saturday, but I gotta summon him. It's the whole thing. You gotta wait for the Rose Duelist to get summoned and all that jazz. Uh, I have a deck cost of 933. What? Hang on, I gotta look at my deck again. Because I think you keep everything. Right? Oh, do I really have a deck cost of 933? I literally have Taya's deck cost. That's amazing. I love that. Okay, um, I kind of like... I like how poetic it is that we have the same deck cost. So I'm gonna look for something that costs 15. Just to keep that going. 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. Yeah, there he is, Armored Zombie. I don't really need him. So let's put in a uh, Megamore. Nice. So we got 933. Sweet. And uh, I don't think we got to do any duels, so I'll at least start this one for this episode. Oh, shoot, that means I gotta end it in the next one. That means I gotta record another episode. I've been recorded a quite a few. This is the same recording session I recorded uh, Isis with. Started Isis with. The Rose Duelist, you dare to betray the hopes of Prince Yugi? Alright, T, let's go. Teach you a lesson you'll never forget. Uh, something tells me you won't, honey. I can't believe my deck cost is still so low. That's incredible. And it's really good. That's really great. It's the same deck cost she has. So you'll notice a different music track. Yeah, so there's different music for each campaign. This is going to be the music for when you fight the good guy. Well... I shouldn't say good guys or bad guys. When you fight the Lancastrians. Um, so I'll put my full range thing back here. I'll be fun. And yeah, the fact that I just beat an entire campaign with the deck that I'm using against this first person. Holy crap! She just used three equip cards on one thing. I'm afraid. I'm quite afraid. But I think, yeah, I got Shadow Spell, so we can see exactly how much this is going to do. I wish we could flip her up, though. Uh, oh well, that's fine. She's probably still so dang weak, though, because she that's a card she played on the first turn. It can't be strong. Oh, and she's just power increasing right and left. She specializes... Oh, so it does flip up. Awesome. Wow, that's an hourglass. She used three equip cards on that, and it has... It had seven, 1,700 attack, and now it's back to 17. That's crazy. All right, back to 7. Hmm, I can kill it with Illusion's Faceless Mage. That's insane. I love that, actually. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Power increase for the win. Okay. <laughs> I just doubly spellbound him. That is one... That hourglass will never run out now. Not just because it's dead, either. And so far, so good. I don't know if Taya has anything that I want. She probably does, but I don't remember so much in this game. What the heck is that? 
This card's face up defense, all life is reduced by half. Ooh, nice. That's good. It's really good, actually. Um, oh, I wish I had a heavy out here so I could do some damage. Hmm. Because I would just move forward and play something and wail on her. That's fine. I want to see what that is, so... Actually, I got my scout. Karibo, go! Oh, it's just a freaking winged egg of life. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. All right. Okay, I'm going to move you here. Because I don't know where she's going to try to go. All right, sweet. I can do what I was going to plan to do before. I might be able to beat her <laughs> before this episode's up. Which means we got a duel in. Uh, I kind of want to see her cards, though. Yeah, I'm gonna... She's she's a first person, so... She's not gonna have anything that's hard to kill. All these freaking fairies! Like, sorry, I don't mean that in the offensive... Like, anti-homosexual way. I mean, like, just all these freaking... <laughs> fairy, like... Freaking mystical beings, like, these... She's got a lot of fairies! Oh, what is that? Hush... Wait, what? Hoshiningen. I am Hoshiningen. Okay, that, that I'm gonna let Hoshiningen do his thing. I'm gonna let him do his Hosh thing again. Oh my god, David, you're terrible. Um, let's just do this, okay? Like, because I need some. I need my heavies. Maybe the game knows that I just like totally reset everything, and so they're like, "Come on, you can't be like." You can't be just beating on this poor girl. Alright, I don't think I need you anymore, illusionist, so bye. What does she even have? I don't think she has anything I want. Freaking javelins and fairies! Like, come on! <laughs> I just want... You know what? Fine, I don't even care! I don't even care, like... To do your worst, man. Like, I'm being really reckless, honestly. And she ate it! She ate the egg! Oh my god. Okay, I know this episode's going on a bit long, but I, I'll definitely be able to beat her. Uh, I'm going to certainly do a number on her. Uh, she's not on mountain, that sucks. Um, I can beat Hoshin again. Um, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to wreck her. Wreck her very, very much so. I'm not gonna lie, this thing is really annoying. This tenderness. Oh, it's so tender. I love it. Alright, so I just need something with 2600 to uh, uh, do the, a killing on, on her face. Um, I don't know what to expect. Like, she's just not packing anything. And I think I can kill her right now. I mean, I can if I do this first. Sorry, tenderness. <laughs> Goodbye. And let's just take her out for this episode. Because, yeah, I don't recall if Taya has anything that I really want. I really just don't remember. I think you get something cool if you line up three silver bows and arrows. So I'm going to try to do that. But aside from that, I got, I got nothing. Yeah, you can't think of it. Okay. Ah, right, well. So that was a nice spot of tea, eh? <laughs> Alright, let's try it. Wow! I got tenderness! Now I got the bow, and- Oh my god, I could have gotten all three of them! Because they're all adjacent! Oh, come on, that would have been cool! I think you get something cool for lining up three of them. Oh, well, whatever. I don't care. I don't care. Like, can you see how much I don't care right now? Because I don't. I guess I lost. It pains me to know that I lack the strength to pick my lord and love. Whoa, too much info. Like, just give me your card and we'll get a going. Once upon a time, I had all those cards, but now I don't. Now I got all the other cards. Let's go to London, eh? Oh, wait, so I'm still in England. All right, because you start in Stonehenge no matter what. That makes sense. We're going to go to France later. T, Tristan Gray. We're going to fight him next. I don't even think I want to add tenderness or silver bill, so let's just get right into this next time, of course. Peace out.